How did you meet this wonderful French man? At the European Investment Bank. Oh. <laughs> Tinder is for poor people. I, uh... <laughs> the young lady, where in France are you from? Paris. Paris? Oh. Guys, calm down. They have bed bugs, okay? It's not that... <laughs> It's not that fancy anymore, okay? They're... Actually, make some noise if you have anyone from Luxembourg originally. <laughs> Damn, man, that is, uh... That is, that is, that is, that is great! That is great! This, this is ours now, okay, you know? But it's good to be here. Uh, make some noise if you're not from Luxembourg. Look at that. Eh? Wow, what a surprise. Nobody was from Luxembourg, so the rest are outside of Luxembourg, yes? But uh, make some noise if you're from outside of the European Union. We got the Albanians here, yes, very nice. Yourself, sir? Ukraine. From Ukraine, okay, very nice. Soon, brother, soon, okay. <laughs> I don't know if sooner than them, okay, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. So what's your job, sir? Uh, depository. I am a fisc. fisc. You are the IRS? IRS. You're working for the IRS in Luxembourg? Yeah, I'm controlling. Controlling. <laughs> Not taking away, just controlling, okay? I, uh... I report to the IRS. No, yes, yes, I, I report if I find something bad, but sometimes I don't find, you know, because my, <laughs> my vision is obstructed, you know, uh, sometimes. No, actually, I'm controlled, I'm also controlled by someone else, so I cannot. Ah, so you can't. I can't. You can't do like the control. <laughs> control away. No. All right, so you, the control has control here. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and that's the control of the control. Who controls the controller of the controller? controller? This is how people have jobs in this country, okay? Every, there's just everybody's looking out uh, behind the shoulder for corruption, okay? We have a controller for the controller for the controller. But who controls the controller of the controller of the controller? That's the question. Is there any, uh, do we have any Russian money in this country? <laughs> the IRS guy was like... <laughs> ChatGPT, why did you use ChatGPT, boss? I say boss because he has a shirt, boss, okay? It's not just because he's boss. Yes, what is your trabajo? Two months in Mexico, you see that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, the job. Uh, <laughs> I'm the managing director of a tech company. You're managing director of a tech company and using ChatGPT, yes? What, what kind of uh, questions did you ask that ChatGPT? How do I become profitable? Or... No, I guess uh, how to work LinkedIn cost. What's that? LinkedIn cost. LinkedIn cost? Post. A uh, post, okay, so it's like ChatGPT help me post something on LinkedIn. And ChatGPT says, sure, why not? Here you go. Nobody's gonna read it anyway. <laughs> Very nice. What's your startup do, bro? It's not a startup. Uh, we do data management. Data management? Yes. Okay, nice, that's good. What whose data? There. What do you to, to whom does the data belong? Uh, <laughs> banks, government, uh, non profit, big. Non That's not where the money is coming from, yes? <laughs> okay, data management, very nice, and you're using ChatGPT to write LinkedIn posts, okay? Yeah. Very good, I like that you're busy at work, okay? <laughs> this is like... <laughs> it was like, guys, give us all your data, okay? We, uh, that's how you get the clients, actually, LinkedIn, right? Yes. Ah. It's main channel acquisition. Main channel acquisition is LinkedIn, okay, very nice. But a lot of my friends are saying, Dragos, this is the future of technology. This is how it works. You have to start using technology to create better output for your work or technology replaces you. And no job is safe. What's your job, sir? My job? Yes. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer? It's not safe. <laughs> it's not safe. ChatGPT can answer all legal questions, okay? I'm trying to sue, sue my landlord in Germany and ChatGPT is suing him in German, okay? <laughs> This is an unwinnable battle, okay? Like, it can do very good stuff, like lawyer stuff, accountancy. Uh, and what kind of law do you c cover? Uh, financial, uh, financial law. Financial crime. Law? No, no, financial. Not crime, just financial law. Don't worry about it. <laughs> corporate law. Corporate law, where a corp when a corporate owns money to another corporate, or you just do the contract. Yeah. And are you afraid? Uh, it's over. I mean. It's over. Let's go. <laughs> For me, it is over, okay? I... Where are you from, sir? Italy. Italy. And what is the plan now? <laughs> Technology is coming for your job. Go back to Italy. Oh, now, then it's gonna be really over, brother, okay? <laughs> Go to Romania, the future is there, okay? This is, Andrew Tate is there, you match his haircut, okay? This is... Do you have any hobbies that you can refocus your energies on? Because the law game is over. Mm. Do you like painting? No, Go to Austria, okay? <laughs> do, you, do you like DJing? 
Do you like anything? As a lawyer, I don't like anybody, okay? I, uh, do you think I got into law because I like stuff? It's because I hate myself, okay? This is why I'm doing law. Very nice. And you're here, who are you here? What's your name, Italian guy? Andrea. Andrea, very nice. What a, what a beautiful name. In Romania, we also have a lot of Andreas, but they are girls. Okay, this is, uh, and you're here with who? Uh, with Andrea. <laughs> She's from Romania. What is your name, young lady? Francesca. Francesca and Andrea. Are you guys together or are you just it's no. together because you're Italian? He was like, you're Italian, I'm Italian, let us hold hands. Yeah, we are friends because we are Italian. This is the common denominator. You have the same flag as I do. And we speak the same language. Oh, the pizza. Of course, the pizza. No. And what do you do, young lady? Francesca, yes? Uh, I'm an anti-money laundering officer. Oh, he's a lawyer. You're an anti-money laundering officer. <laughs> the Venn diagram of friendship continues, yes? <laughs> He likes paper, I like paper. <laughs> we work in a financial institution. You know, birds of a feather, you know, protect anti-money laundering together. <laughs> nice, and you also, which part of Italy are you guys from, Andrea? I'm from uh, Naples. Naples, okay, very nice. I've heard of Naples, I've been there, very aggressive. Uh, <laughs> so, like, if you ever wanted to do an overdose on Italy, you go to Naples, yes? It's like, it's all Italy at you at the same time, yes? And yourself, Francesca? I'm from Sicily. From, okay. <laughs> It makes a lot of sense, guys, okay? They, they have to hang out with each other, okay? Because, okay, and the other gentleman, are you also from? Where are you from? Roma. Roma, okay, very nice. And you are not as friendly with them. <laughs> very nice. And you are also a money launderer? Oh, no, sorry, anti-money launderer. I, keep, I just went to Malta, so I keep getting those confused, okay? I, uh, what is your occupation, sir? Risk management. Risk management, okay, very nice. <laughs> It's a lot of financial services jobs here, yes? We're gonna talk about AML and uh, what else we have. Compliance, anybody doing compliance? Ah, look at that, we got one over here, okay, sir. What kind of compliance do you do, sir? Uh, legal compliance. Legal compliance, the best kind of compliance, yes? Yeah, and uh, very nice, are you looking for a job, sir? No, I'm, I'm currently working. You're currently, you're happy with your firm? I'm leaving, actually. You're leaving already? Yes. <laughs> the great thing about compliance officers, they're never happy with the company, okay? It's uh, the most underappreciated job in the company. Nobody really wants them there because everybody wants to do financial crime, really, okay? <laughs> so have you figured out your path in, to, in the world now? You're gonna stay in compliance? Are you gonna use ChatGPT for compliance officers? No, I'm totally changing my sector. I'm moving uh, to Japan, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> so I'm moving to Japan. It was either that or kill myself, okay? This were the options of after three years in compliance. You're gonna go to Japan? What are you gonna do in Japan, brother? Where are you from? Albania. Ah. <laughs> Not a lot of people know this, but uh, Japan was founded by three Albanians on a boat, okay? It was... <laughs> You're going all the way to Japan. Very nice. Is there a big Albanian community in Japan? Uh, small one, but it's, there are some few people, yes. Very nice. And what, which part of Japan? Osaka, Tokyo? Osaka, yes. You going to Osaka? Yes. Why, why, why Osaka? Because I have a friend there and uh, he, he, he said, hey, come over, brother. Uh, <laughs> when I came to Luxembourg, there was another friend, he said, come over. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna like do compliance, teach English? No, 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 I, I leave law, I just uh, gonna work, uh, we work on a project company, uh, travel company that we want to. A travel company in Osaka? Yeah, but to, be, to bring French people to Japan, so he, because he's French. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it sounds like uh, human traffic on the top of it. But <laughs> But it's not, okay? It's not. <laughs> it's not. This is tourism, okay? We're gonna have. We're gonna bring people to. Well, Japan needs more people, you know. So, do you speak any Japanese? No, not yet. So you're gonna go to Japan. No Japanese. One French guy. I will, I will learn. I mean, I will. I will do everything to learn and to get to the culture. Very nice. Okay. Well, have you started on Duolingo so far? Not so you gotta get on it, brother. Okay. So let's talk to some of you guys over here. What about the gentleman over there, sir? What's your name? You were looking at the lights just now. I just wanna. <laughs> well, what's your name? Sergio. Sergio from Romania, yes? Almost, yes. Where? Are you from Moldova? Moldova, yes. Yes, 100%, yes. Well, what's, uh, what's happening in Moldova at the moment, sir? What's, what? what's happening in Moldova? Are you excited? <laughs> yes, yes. That is the, the, the extent of the conversation between Romania and Moldova. Okay, they were like, uh, how's it going, guys? Are you guys okay? We are. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. To talk to you again with the next crisis. <laughs> very nice. You moved from Chisinau, from Bal to where are you from in, in uh, Moldova? Chisinau. Chisinau, and you are here working as well on financial situations? Uh, almost, yes. What, what's your occupation? Uh, cutting with people. 
cutting the people. He's a, uh, guys, 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 HR, okay? He's part of HR, okay? He's clearly HR. In these difficult times, everybody downsizing, everybody's cutting back, uh, but he's cutting the people left and right, yes? Okay, very well done. Uh, and uh, how many people have you cut so far? This is going on TikTok, it starts like this. How many people have you cut so far? <laughs> What is the main reason? Well, what's the... Almost every day, so... Every day you're firing somebody, yes? And is it a tough conversation? Do you have to have this conversation with them? Uh, or do you, like, get ChatGPT to write your LinkedIn post? Or? <laughs> Before, yes, and after, again, yes. But uh, is there, like, I don't, I don't know exactly how people in Luxembourg react. Is it, like, a violent reaction? I'm assuming if you fire somebody in Albania, uh, <laughs> they come back and fire something at you, okay? <laughs> Make some noise if you got your bonus. <laughs> this guy's like, I'm the managing director. I give myself the bonus. And uh, for every LinkedIn post, I give myself 10% extra, okay? This is... <laughs> it's hilarious, managing director, bonus. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what is, do people kind of tell you, please don't fire me, I have a family, or? I think it's a different cutting. It's a different cutting? What kind of cutting do you do? I'm a surgeon, so I have... A surgeon? <laughs> I thought it was a metaphor. I thought you were a metaphor. But you physically cut people, okay. I automatically assume this guy is in HR. He's firing people left and right. Meanwhile, he's taking organs out of motherfuckers, okay? <laughs> You see, guys, this is why sometimes metaphors are important, okay? Because, damn. What, do you specialize on any particular part of the body? Or like, what exactly do you cut? Like the brain, the liver? Heart. You cut the heart? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> like, you gave me that cognac glass, yes. You cut hearts? Oh, yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a heartbreaker right there, okay, this is. So, but you do heart surgery, do you take out and you put another heart, or? No, just fixing it. You're just fixing it? Like, like the, uh, the, art, the venture, I fucking no idea what's in the heart, my man. All there's in my heart is pain. <laughs> like the left uh, ventricle, left ventricle, is that, the, ventricle is a heart thing, yes? Yes, yes. And then there's, there's the, 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 the heart has multiple houses, yes? There's the ventricle, and there's the one at the bottom, like the, the mezzanine. Uh, what do you call it, the basement of the heart? I see the property is so expensive, I don't even know how to describe rooms in the heart, okay? This is... Two atrium, two bedrooms. Ah, not that complicated, see? <laughs> You'll make some noise if you're from the Balkan region. Yeah, look at that, we got the Greeks over there, the young lady from... Bulgaria. From Bulgaria, who is Drasti, Wopa, all the, all the good stuff, yeah? <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, so we got Bulgaria, the gentleman as well. From Romania, beautiful country. <laughs> Deep problems, yes, this is Romania. There were some people from outside of the European Union and Europe altogether. Imagine us from outside of Europe. <laughs> this country doesn't let as many in, okay? This is, in Germany, there's more of a way. Where are you from, sir? From England. From England. The other people are, are debating, well, England is actually Europe. Well, well is it though now? <laughs> Not according to them. <laughs> We've got British people, who else? Albania. Albania, don't worry, one day. One day, <laughs> one day. One day you will no longer have to say you're outside of the European Union, okay? Don't worry, uh, technically you are in Europe, okay? Yes, very good. And then what's the other person from? Turkish and Colombia. Turkish, almost Europe. You also must be, almost, yes. I moved over to Germany. Make some noise if you've been to Germany, Berlin before. Yes, yeah, a couple of guys. The, the gentleman with the tie. You've been to Berlin before? Yeah, unfortunately. Are you coming from work or this is just your, uh, your Sunday attire? <laughs> you know, I went to church. There's nothing wrong with going to church. Depending, let's see which God. Did you go to church or is it just, uh, is this like... Wow. Is that, is that the case for everything? Is you do everything better with a tie? Wow, wow, wow. Bonjour, madame. Oh, this? This stays on. Don't worry, you're gonna thank me later. You are going to thank me later. 
You had a bit of an assignment for your... Uh, what, what university are you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm studying political science. Political science? Very nice. And you political science... Yeah, what do you think of the current situation with politics in the world? We're going in deep from the start, okay? <laughs> Which side are you on? Don't answer, bro. <laughs> Don't do it, don't do it. You're already, you're already enough trouble. You're in Luxembourg, don't take any sides, okay? You, you, the only side you need to take is money, okay? This is, I am on the side of money, okay? The more money comes into this country, the more ties I buy, okay? <laughs> Very nice. You've been to Berlin. When, when did you go to Berlin? What's your name? Roman. Roman? Very nice. Roman, that was we say. It. <laughs> You've been to Berlin how long ago? Uh, I think a year ago or something. Let me check my pocket watch. Yes. Uh, <laughs> It's been about a year since I've been to Berlin, a wonderful place, disgusting place. <laughs> what, 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 what did you do there? Uh, I was visiting a friend. A friend, yes. The guy over there, yes sir? Uh, property in Luxembourg. In Luxembourg, you own a copper teen? <laughs> a property, okay. What's the, what's the property? How big is it? Uh, an apartment and some building plots. Let's talk to this guy for the rest of the evening, okay? We gotta figure out, <laughs> we gotta figure out how he got so much property in Luxembourg, okay? <laughs> So you have some properties, sir. What are the, the properties you inherited? Are they like houses? Are they like you know, terrain? Is it like a mall? Um, it's two building castles and a third of a house. Well, well, well. Uh, two building castles <laughs> and a third of a house. Are you single? No. That sounds about right. <laughs> Is this the young lady, your partner? Yes? Well, so young lady, what's your name? Chiara. Chiara. How long have you guys been together for? Oh, and when did you find out the property? Before or after? <laughs> well, that was just one day in this castle, and... You are from Italy? And do you have any property coming your way? Uh, well, when my parents will die, but I hope not. Uh, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> you're learning a language? Okay, a couple of language learners. What are you learning, young Romanian lady? Well, I'm trying to learn Luxembourgish. You're trying to learn Luxembourgish? Five sad claps. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Please be our president. <laughs> now, Luxembourg having a president? I don't even know. What do you guys have? Who rules you? Huh? Grand Duke. Grand Duke? A Grand Duke? Oh, that's why the tie you are aspiring, yes? Very nice. And you have. What is Luxembourg ish? Is it French? Is it German? According to them or to us? <laughs> Well, according to us, it's nonsense, but, <laughs> but according to them. According to them, it's not German. It's not German. Yeah, for me, it's a deep German. How do you say no? Uh, nee. Not German, brother. That's not, it's a nee, nine, completely different, okay? How do you say yes? Yo. Yo? <laughs> Luxembourg people from the, pa from the past 200 years, yo. Oh, bro, yo! Beer? Nay. Nee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nee. I have financial data to analyze. I cannot. How do you learn Luxembourgish? Do you go on Duolingo? Is Duolingo even teaching Luxembourg? No. Doesn't recognize. If, if the owl doesn't recognize it, it's not true, okay? Duolingo teaches Klingon, okay? <laughs> it's like, fuck Luxembourgish, brother. I don't have time for Luxembourgish. Klingon is more spoken, okay? <laughs> More spoken than Luxembourgish, okay? <laughs> and how do you learn it with your uh, partner here? No, I've been trying to do that like online. Online? Yeah, but there's like one teacher and his sister, but she gave up. It's one teacher and his sister, <laughs> and the sister gave up, okay? This is. Was... <laughs> okay, so you got the one guy that teaches Luxembourgish. Yeah, but uh, he gave up on me. <laughs> oh, he gave up on you, okay, okay, okay. Very nice. She was like, she is beyond, okay. And what are you learning, young lady? Japanese. Japanese, where? Oh, couple. Oh, yes. I watch anime as well. Yes. Uh, the Japanese has increased in popularity aggressively. Yes, it's, it's much more popular than it used to be. And to be honest, I think it's it's easier to learn than German or Luxembourgish for that matter. Nice. And how do you learn like, Japanese? Uh, online. Online with the with the Japanese uh, friend yeah. and the mother or like. <laughs> nice. How deep are you in your Japanese? I've, I've been doing it for three years, so like I'm more close, advanced. Advanced? Oh. How do you say my name is? Boku no wa. Ah! <gasps> that's, that's very Japanese. Oh! <laughs> Dorago-san, B2 in Japanese. Oh! So-so, Oh, is it? Oh, 
Si sí, no, da yo da yo mudo cara. Boko wa ni kongo chuto. Chuto da wa da cara. But I lived in Japan for like four years, so it doesn't really count, okay? Si, sí, si. Sí. Now listen to my German. Uh, kind guild. Five years in Germany, kind guild. Yeah, yeah. Fahart kind guild. No, no. We have a Colombian here, yes? Where are you, young lady? What's your name, young lady? Natalie. And you've come here from Colombia, Natalie. How long ago? Five months ago, round of applause for her. She's new to Luxembourg. <laughs> new to Luxembourg, very nice. And what brought you here? Amor or uh, trabajo? <laughs> a little bit of both. Work and play. <laughs> <laughs> and sir, are you the work or are you the play? <laughs> hmm? I, I will let you guess. I have already guessed, my friend. <laughs> what if uh, you are play for sure, yes? What is your name, sir? Jerome. <laughs> If a Jerome comes into your life, you go with him, okay? This is... And how did you meet the wonderful Natalie? Uh, in uh, Slovakia. In Slovakia? <laughs> uh, this, uh, this, sounds, this started to sound like a human trafficking situation, okay? <laughs> this, is... <laughs> this doesn't sound like good things happen in Slovakia. Very nice. How, what were you guys doing? Studying, working, running away? Very nice. You're working in Slovakia from Colombia? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> like, what was the pitch? It's still Europe. <laughs> Come to Slovakia. It's still Europe. You're not gonna like it. It's not gonna be friendly, but it's still Europe. You're like, thank you. Are there any other options? Bulgaria. Okay. <laughs> Bratislava, here I come. <laughs> Very nice. And you were studying in Slovakia, sir? Uh, yeah, I was doing my Erasmus. Ah, Erasmus. Very nice. If you don't know Erasmus, it's a, it's a program in Europe. It's designed to help people integrate by, uh, you know, uh, what's that word? Sex. <laughs> 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 you know, you, you take like 19-year-olds, uh, 18-year-olds, you know, the prime of their horniness, and you do a little bit of shuffle around. <laughs> and here you go, European integration. Hey! <laughs> That's how you get international babies. You send the Jeromes to Slovakia. That's <laughs> very nice. So then you, you were working, you were studying, and you met. Where did you guys meet? You were studying at the university, or? Uh, we met at uh, a language school while I was teaching, and it was this internship first day, and my last day of school. Oh. So, yeah. Wow, okay, romantic. <laughs> first day, last day, that's all it took. <laughs> <laughs> and what, were you, uh, what was your move, Jerome? Or was the young lady the one that? You, Jerome? Yeah, I am Erasmus. I'm not going to be here for long, but I would like to learn more about your, uh, how do you say it, tongue. <laughs> you, went, you went up to her, like, like in the movies? Just happened? Like you are from Luxembourg or you're French? No, no, I'm from France. From France, you're like, bonjour. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Can I boys you show me the Eiffel Tower, okay? I am here. Had me at hello. Yes, you had me at hello indeed. Yes, let's see the Arc de Triumph, my friend. Let's get in there. Very nice. But now you've been together, you moved here. How long have you guys been together for? Uh, six years. Six years, round of applause. Look at that. Well done. Six years of relationship. Wow. That's beautiful gossip. Oh, you're also married as well, yes? I thought you were showing me the finger, but you were showing me this finger, okay? <laughs> oh, nice. What was the move? Six years, at what point? That fifth year, or? Actually, a few months ago. A few months ago? Oh, this year? She was like, two months ago, okay. He... <laughs> 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 it was five years, eight months, and two days, Jerome. <laughs> Do you know how many times I had to go to the immigration office? <laughs> Do you know how long the line is? Do you know that when you enter this country, there's two different separate lines? EU citizen and none. <laughs> so the gossip about Shakira was intense, right? I didn't really want to learn about it. I didn't care about Shakira because people break up every day. Why should I care? Make some noise if you broke up recently. The rest of you guys are smart. <laughs> what happened?
happened, man? You broke up? Did you? She was like, he keeps showing up in a suit at all our dates. <laughs> What happened, sir? You broke up with your partner. What was the situation? She broke up with me. Oh. <laughs> Calm down. Maybe it was the reason. <laughs> no, innocent until proven guilty. Guilty until proven innocent, okay? If I've learned anything from Shakira's experience, guilty until proven innocent, okay? How long were you guys together for? Uh, four months. Ah, okay. Everybody's like, ah. <laughs> Just tighten that tie and go back into the game, champ, okay? Go back in there and get some, okay? Very nice. Where was your partner from? Uh, well, also Luxembourg. Ah, first mistake. <laughs> you reduce, look at all the pool, the talent pool here, okay? There's a lot of options. And yourself, young lady, what happened in your situation? You also broke up, yes? Yes. Where, where, how long were you with your partner for? How long was? Were you with your partner for? Three, Three years. Three years, and where are you from? Romania and the partner? Cameroon. Cameroon? What happened? You don't have to tell us if you don't want to. <laughs> Another continent. Another? Ah, oh, it's long distance. No. <laughs> I just wanted to be in another continent away from you. That's, that's, that's what I wanted to be, okay? Very nice. You're now back in the game. What are you using? Live, Tinder, Bumble, LinkedIn? <laughs> Guys, this is Luxembourg, okay? You have. You have to, you, come on, come on. You gotta check the position, okay? And you are here with your partner, are you also someone in finance? Like how do finance, is it, do you finance people date other finance people or how do they find love? <laughs> people are like, no, no, Tinder, that's how we find love, okay? We Tinder and then the three months, four months, six months, then we break up, then again and then again, and it's a vicious circle, yes? Are you on Tinder, sir? You have already a partner, yes? Yeah, I hope not because I'm the wife. Oh. <laughs> Nobody get any ideas, okay? He's already taken. And the wife, you are also French or? No, I'm Romanian. Romanian, okay. She was like, mine. <laughs> I am a francophone, putain. Okay, don't. Nice. How did you meet this wonderful French man? Tinder is for poor people. I, uh... <laughs> Tinder, Bumble, okay, stupid, no. The European Investment Bank is where I go to meet people, yes? Because I'm investing in my future. <laughs> <laughs> so you were at the European Investment Bank and he was out there managing the stock exchange, or what do you do at the European Investment Bank? No, we were both interns, so that's how you match with Ah, uh, interns. Ah, okay, and then you're like, you are an intern, I am an intern? Yeah, so we, we started dating on the same practice night during the pub crawl. That's what happened, alcohol. Okay, I got it. <laughs> the pub crawl continued. There was one more pub to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, but then you guys got married. Was it a French-Romanian wedding? Did you take them to Romania? Where in Romania are you from? Craiova. From Craiova? <laughs> Craiova is also known as the Japan of Romania, okay? It's, uh, the only difference is a lot more swords, less honor, okay? That's definitely less honor in that part. It's, uh, a lot of people, when they refer to Craiova and Romania, is that that is where the heads of the mafia are, okay? Yes, and so you're from Craiova. You got out of there on, uh, on, the, on, the, on the sword scholarship, and you got to the investment bank, okay? Somebody's playing the long game, okay? Nice. Did you go to Craiova, sir? And what, of course. <laughs> I sense a bit of fear in his voice, yes? <laughs> I have been there. And I like Luxembourg. I don't know what Sandeep is talking about. This is beautiful, yes? How long did you stay in Romania for? <coughs> a couple of months in Craiova, all of it? <laughs> was this a COVID enforced imprisonment or what was it? <laughs> Part of it, you at the Craiova, I was like, fuck, I can't get out, this was all trap. I had a... <laughs> I think they were trying to make sure you were not kidnapped, sir. I, that's what I was like, what is this French guy doing here? I was like, he runs a stock exchange and he's here. Boys, <laughs> come on, what are we talking about, okay? But where are you in France, sir? Uh, the south. The south of France? 
Beautiful. Toulouse? Very nice. Have you been to Toulouse, young lady? Yes. How was the reception there? Not the cellular reception, not 5G. I'm asking about 5G. I'm telling you, like, how many stars, how many bars did you get when you told everybody you're from Romania? <laughs> no, Toulouse is beautiful. They have uh, the airplane company. What's it called? Airbus. Someone speaks French? Airbus? <laughs> Very nice. What was your favorite thing about Toulouse? The food? Yeah. They have beautiful, like what, oysters? Did he brought you? <laughs> hmm? They have beans and sausage in Toulouse. Yes. Damn, Toulouse. Just like home, okay? <laughs> Toulouse, that sounds like a win, okay? This is. is there any way, you know, like sometimes in, uh, is there any way where you can, in Luxembourg, can you just cross the border in and out every other? Yeah. Yeah. People do that, right? They go to Germany and they come back? Yeah. Yeah. In France. In France, yeah? People know all the ways out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and do you guys have that situation where you, how, how long, who lives outside of Luxembourg but works in Luxembourg? Yes, the gentleman, sir, where do you live? Belgium. In Belgium. And how long does it take you to drive into Luxembourg? Uh, ah, it's pretty good. Where's the property cheaper? Uh, where in Belgium? At the border. At the border. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just one stop up behind the border. I make money here, I live good here. I, uh, <laughs> very nice. And was, so the same situation you want to do, sir? Or Sorry? Do you want to do the same situation, live in Belgium and live in Luxembourg? Or? No, I'm in Luxembourg. You're, you're here, you're committed, you don't want to have any confusion. You don't, you don't want to go for the bird as a Russian. <laughs> Everything is like, very nice. And sir, what do you do in Belgium? Like why, are you Belgian or? Yeah. Ah, okay, so you're like, I'm here, why would I, and you, come, you got the job here. What is your job? A data scientist, very nice. Just like Shakira, oh, I like it. Okay, this is. <laughs> it's a very popular job at the moment. It's a lot of people are getting in. The, the broad aspect of interest is quite high. Okay, and what is the data that you, that you science? Uh, pricing. Pricing for like financial products or? Uh, manufacturing. Ah, uh, manufacturing. Okay, man, there's some very serious jobs happening here. Okay, very nice. And yeah, your your lovely partner is she also from Belgium or? No, she's French. Oh. And... <laughs> oh. Is there any French Belgium hate? There's no. Well, actually, yes. <laughs> she was like, uh, not at the geopolitical level, but in my relationship, we <laughs> <laughs> we have some, but we have found ways to manage it. Yes, the young lady. Where in France are you from? Paris. Paris. Oh. <laughs> Guys, calm down. They have bed bugs. Okay, it's not that. <laughs> it's not that fancy anymore. Okay, they're. They have bed bugs, okay? It's, everybody, I oh, hope you are from Paris. <laughs> it's like, somebody, the Luca was like, I'm from Toulouse. Everybody was like, good for you. You made it, okay? What a grown big boy you are. The young lady, I'm from Paris. Ooh. Ooh, are you Emily in Paris or what is? Does this happen every time you say you're from Paris? These people, they don't get out much, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm going to Greece tomorrow. I'm literally going to Athens. What kind of dirt is happening in Greece? What's the, I know you have the fe first female president ever in the Greek history, yes? Yes. Uh, this guy is like, oh, we don't recognize her. She's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, we're ready for the next one. This is just for like, you know, we're in EU, EU NATO, just, you know. <laughs> like the first, is the first female president in Greece. Like this is 2020, well, 2020 was elected, right? And what else is happening at the moment? Is the fires happened? This we know? Okay, the fires. The floods. The floods. So what you're saying is once you elected a female president, <laughs> you had floods and fires yeah. and, and divine punishment. <laughs> Corruption. Corruption. That was there before. Come on, we can't blame that one. Come on. You had democracy for 2,000 years. Surely you had corruption for more. <laughs> Well, some say that we invented corruption, okay? And all of the corruption move up north to North Macedonia. <laughs> Very nice. What else is happening in Greece at the moment? Some elections for um, municipality. municipality. Yeah. Municipality, okay. Yeah. I mean, we also heard about the boats. The ones that they're pushing away, you know what else? The immigrants? Ah, oh, the ah, boats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the boats, of course, yeah. <laughs> How could I forget about the boats, yes. There's so much water, how do we stop them? 
I forgot about it. Well, Italy has a good solution. The whole country is like a boot. You just kick them away. <laughs> Saving Greece. Saving Greece. Yeah, there was a lot of... There was a lot of stuff. Okay, and what else should I talk about in Greece if I go there? What else? Because in Luxembourg, it's financial situation. The army is small, and people are unhappy but rich. <laughs> in Greek, they're happy but poor. Unhappy but poor. Unhappy but poor. Unhappy and poor. Okay. A true Balkan nation. Okay. <laughs> a true Balkan nation. Okay. The weather is nice. Ah. Ah. You hear that, Bulgaria? 